that right there, if you can do that, you're gonna add six points to your average pretty easily. So we all know those guards that are super comfortable and calm when they play basketball, right? Chris Paul, John Stockton, Matt, any of these guys, when you watch the film, there's something a little bit different about their pace. And that's because they break down ball screen situations in their workout. So by the end of this video, you should be able to feel comfortable coming off and reading defenses as a guard in a ball screen. I'm gonna give you three different coverages and then two shots for each of those coverages. That's 60 makes on the right side of the court coming off a ball screen, 60 makes on the left side is 120 make ball screen workout that you can add to your daily workouts. All right, we're gonna start with the most common ball screen defense and that's a hard hedge. I wanna bring the ball to the level of the screen. Now, that's step one. Step two, set my defender up. I might relocate jab, misdirection, legs cross, make a move to shift their weight away from the screen because now they're trailing the play. Once they're trailing the play, you only have one more person to beat and that's the hedge man or hedge woman. I'm gonna bounce out using my speed and my height to my advantage. I wanna put my shoulder down and through the hip of that hedge defender here. One of the biggest mistakes you might see players make during this drill is they'll get off this and because there's no one else in the gym, they'll get real wide and casual and start shooting their 15 footers from right here. In a game, you have to realize there's probably one person in the corner. There's a defender guarding the screen, but that also leaves probably two more defenders who are on this side of the floor. That means your space is a lot more limited than you might think. Should look like this. Start here. Step one, misdirection. Here, shifting the weight. Step two, get around the hip. Step three, go downhill at an angle that you are putting the defender on your back. And then raising up and shooting your 15 footer. So let's see what that looks like in real time. Understanding that last drill, change of pace is everything. Great guards have great change of pace. Now, the second read off the hard hedge is the stop behind three. A lot of times bigs don't do their job correctly and get all the way out here on a hard hedge. They'll oftentimes sit back right about here. So the option that this gives you is when your primary defender decides to go underneath the screen, you have a split second as they go underneath the screen and the hedge is on that side that both defenders are behind your screen. You have to be confident enough by drilling this every single day to stop behind, set your feet, and go up into your shot. Here's what that's gonna look like. So with everything in this series, whatever shot that I show you, make 10 of them per day. The first thing we're gonna do is get into our 15 foot pull up off an ice. The number one thing with icing is the first person to make contact is gonna win that battle. I would need to get downhill here. They're coming now on the side. If he creates contact first and gets back in front, he wins the battle. If I create contact first by jabbing into the screen, coming downhill and lowering my shoulder, taking his angle, getting into his chest, you'll see Chris Paul use it a ton. Good guards aren't afraid of contact and then bounce out. Now you've created that Chris Paul like shot. So let's look at that. Through this, I get him to the level of the screen. Now I see that he's icing it. I'm still calm, I'm relaxed. I jab towards it, get into his body, and then get out. Just like that. Now if you have somebody who's willing to play dummy defense, in a later video, we might break this all back down and show you how to use a dummy defender. But you would want them to run with you and you get into their body probably the biggest part of this shot. Because if you just do this and work on this as a drill, here, here, pull up. Problem is, is there's going to be defenders here. Seek contact first and then get away. That's a huge Chris Paul fundamental. Here it is one more time. Oh, get in, oh, right there. Use glass. So that is the first shot off of the ice coverage when they're denying you to use the ball screen. That one was more about how to attack the primary defender by getting into their body. You can also get into the big's body. This one is gonna be specifically how to attack a big. You want to misdirect. You'll notice a common theme in ball screens. The setup is all about misdirection. So I wanna misdirect my primary defender to get him moving that way. 
Now I just have a nice one-on-one -on -one date with the big right here. It should look something like this. In this direction, the primary, downhill, jab, and now I'm into my 15-footer once again, and I can play off of many different shots in there. Looking at my pace right here, I'm fast, slow down. In this direction, throw out, up fake, fly by, pull. The last thing we're gonna do is work on what we call a back foot stop. You've successfully set up your man, you're coming downhill off the ball screen, and you have made the big turn and run. Whether that was a slow down hesitation, whether that was one move attacking the top foot, and now you've found yourself in that seven to eight foot range around the basket. One of the more effective moves, a lot of people like to call it the Rondo. This one he was famous for. That's just a back foot stop. You should be able to change directions better and quicker than a big. All right guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, that was six shots. Now, I would highly encourage that you write all those down. Out of every single one of those reads, the possibilities are limitless. You can shoot floaters, 15 footers, threes off of pretty much all of those reads. You have to determine in your game what's the most important to work on on a daily and a weekly basis. So study up, there's more than just this video. Let me know what you guys wanna see next. Peace. <clears throat> I went